presentation of Scoreboard Show. Smoky Hills Public Television is brought to you in part by an underwriting grant from Next Tech, providing the region with clear quality phone service, fast, reliable internet, advanced TV service, and business technology solutions. Next Tech proudly supports public broadcasting and all ventures dedicated to improving Kansas communities. Simpson Farm Enterprises of Ransom, Hayes, Great Bend, and Beloit, your local Apache dealer. Delivering quality solutions is more than a slogan. It's a commitment that Frontier Ag has made to their customers on the high plains. Frontier Ag knows the challenges you face each day, and they are working by your side, delivering quality solutions. After all, we're owned by the people we serve and proud to be your hometown choice. Time for the fastest five minutes in high school football here on the award-winning scoreboard show. I'm your host, Larry Calvary. Week four is here, and some of the eight-man teams entered into district play last week while others start tonight. A matchup between a ranked 2-1A school and a 3-A school took place tonight in Smith Center as the Norton Blue Jays traveled to take on the Smith Center Redmen. Both teams are undefeated on the season and sit 3-0 in the Mid-Continent League play. Last year when these two teams met, the Blue Jays were able to stop the Redmen from scoring in Norton. This year, though, Norton would not be able to hold off the Redmond and Smith Center as Smith Center gets the win to advance their league record to 4-0. In an eight-man Division I District 8 matchup, it was the St. Francis Indians traveling to the Quinter Bulldogs tonight. St. Francis came into the contest with three wins on the season, while the Bulldogs look to get their first win on the season. This would be both teams' second matchup in district play. Last year, when these teams met in St. Francis, it was a seven-point difference with the Indians coming out on top. This year, the Indians were able to get the win again to advance their district play to 2-0. and zero. Next week, they will host Rollins County Buffaloes in another district game. In a Cakeland game of the week, we head out to Dodge City Red Demons as they host the Liberal Redskins. Dodge City had only met up with Wichita schools this season, but tonight they have a Western Athletic Conference matchup with the Redskins. Now, Liberal has faced one Western Athletic Conference team in the Hayes Indians so far. Both teams are one and two coming into tonight's contest. However, when it was all said and done, this week it was the Dodge City Red Demons coming out on top to move their record to 500. Our final game of the night takes us to a Western Athletic Conference game as the Garden City Buffaloes made the trip to Hayes to take on the Indians. Garden City is undefeated on the season and sitting 1-0 in league action. The Hayes Indians, on the other hand, are 1-1 in league action and 1-2 overall. But the question would be if Garden City's travel would play a toll on them. However, last year when Hayes traveled to Garden City, the Indians were able to leave with the win. This year, Garden City was able to return the favor and defeat the Indians in Hayes and remain undefeated on the season with a 2-0 Western Athletic Conference record. They stay on the road next week to meet up with the Liberal Redskins. There were numerous other games going on tonight and here are some of the scores from around Central and Western Kansas. If you do not see the score you're looking for, be sure to visit our site, scoreboardshow.tv. On our site, you will find episodes from the previous weeks along with extended highlights from our featured games. You can also follow us on Twitter at Scoreboard Show. This is where we will let you know where our cameras are going to be at each and every week. Help us to spread the word about our locations on Friday night by retweeting. That brings this episode to a close, and we'll see you here next week for the fastest five minutes in high school football. So long, everyone. Presentation of Scoreboard Show, Smoky Hills Public Television is brought to you in part by an underwriting grant from Next Tech, providing the region with clear quality phone service, fast, reliable internet, advanced TV service, and business technology solutions. Next Tech proudly supports public broadcasting and all ventures dedicated to improving Kansas communities.
Kansas Collegiate Athletic Conference, the best small four-year college football in Kansas. Information about the KCAC is available at kcacsports.com. Also on Facebook and Twitter at KCAC Sports.